All right, folks. Well, I have four o'clock, so let's go ahead and get started. Good afternoon, AAA members, and thank you so much for joining us for the last presentation of day two of our virtual Traveler Showcase. Before we begin, I want to go over some quick housekeeping with you all. You will be muted throughout the presentation today, so if you have any questions, please feel free to type it into the questions box, and we will answer as many questions as we can at the end of the presentation today. There are handouts included in the presentation, and you're more than welcome to download them and keep. Um, and we'll have more information about this later. This presentation is being recorded and we will send you a link to the recording by email after the event today. There will also be a short survey included in the email as well. So if you could please take a few moments and complete the survey for us, we would greatly appreciate your feedback. We have Traveler Showcase presentations through January 28th, including three this Saturday. So if you would like to see the full schedule of presentations and RSVP, you can do so at AAA.com slash Traveler Showcase. And I'm very excited to introduce our speaker this afternoon. She is one of my favorite people to work with and boy, does she know how to get from point A to point B efficiently. Travel expert and author, Anne McAlpin has been featured and guest on Oprah, The View and CNN sharing up to the minute travel tips. She has traveled to over 78 countries, flown more than 2 million miles, and traveled 21 days around the world solo with just a carry-on bag. With that, I would like to introduce our speaker today, Anne McAlpin. Thanks for joining us, Anne. Thank you, Nathan. And thank you and welcome, everyone, to our Traveling Safe in Today's World. Well, it's such a pleasure to be here. It would be great to see everyone in person, and this is the the second best thing. So I'm thrilled that we have so many people joining us today, learning some new tips on how to be safe on your next trip. So thank you for joining us. So to get started, I'd like to mention some of the things we'll be covering today. Of course, there's lots to be prepared for, and we've got lots of good sense tools on how to make your next trip safer. So I'll be going over some tips for road trips. I know a lot of people are thinking about doing a day trip here or there. So we've got some tips for taking road trips and how to make it safer. Also, I have some airport and plane tips coming up. Restrictions can change quickly. So we're gonna give you some great resources to check before your next trip. As well, hotel stays, how to stay safer if you are staying in a hotel coming up on your next trip. So without further ado, here are some great travel resources that you can check before your next trip. Of course, always check with your AAA travel advisor. They are there to help you. But first of all, cdc.gov is an excellent resource to check before you go. That is the Centers for Disease Control. They are up to the minute on what to do, where to go, and what you need to know before your next trip. So cdc.gov is an excellent resource. In addition, of course, tsa.gov, that's Transportation Security Administration. That's for the airport. If you have any questions, if you're ha having to take a trip on a plane, TSA.gov has all the information up to the minute for any COVID restrictions, any travel tips that you need to know before you go to the airport. They also have an excellent TSA app. My TSA is their app, and that is up to the minute tips on TSA traveling at this time. Another excellent resource, of course, is travel.state.gov, and that's travel advisories by country. Check that, of course. As well, AAA.com has an excellent COVID map. So AAA.com slash COVID map has travel restrictions by state. So if you are traveling to different states, you obviously want to check that as a resource before you head out. And as always, AAA travel advisors are standing by to help you if you need any assistance with your trip. And of course, the AAA trip tick, which has been around for years, is a great resource for road trips. And you can do that online, or you can make an appointment with a AAA advisor and they can help you with that. Now, moving on, we're going to be covering some tips for road trips. So for anyone thinking of a road trip, spontaneously trips, spontaneous road trips, no, you need to plan. So these are some things to think in mind for your next trip, road trip before you head out the door. Of course, make sure your car is road trip ready. It's winter at this moment, so make sure you've had a good checkup with your car mechanic. Make sure everything's in good working order. And battery tests. 
Did you know that AAA has free battery test tests for its members? I did this a couple of years ago. It was fantastic. They came out. I needed a new battery right on the spot. I got a new battery in my car. And just a month or so ago, I had AAA come out and check it again. Everything's going great. So why not utilize that membership? Make sure your battery is in good working order before you think about a next road trip. As well, your road trip kit. Every car should have this. And here's a good picture example of the AAA road kit. They have a few different options, but they include all sorts of things from jumper cables to flashlights. And the one tip I want to make sure everyone realizes, check your expiration date on your road kit because they do expire. They do have a few things in there, first aid that you want to make sure are up to date. So put that on the list of things to do before your next road trip. Download the AAA app. You know, we're all traveling with smartphones now and those apps are so helpful. So these are things to do before you head out the door. Load the AAA app which I think one of the best benefits is it tells you where the best gas prices are in your area, depending on where you're located. So check that app, find out where your local stations are, uh, find out the closest uh, road service requests. Fantastic, you can do that on your app as well, identifies it by location, and find out AAA ratings for hotels. The app covers so many different things. So be sure you've got that AAA app loaded on your smartphone before you head out. And of course, don't forget your AAA card. We hopefully all have it in our wallets right now. So next we wanna talk about PPE and that's personal protection equipment. That's of course our face coverings, face masks, which are imperative to travel with and are basically everyday wear. So be sure you have a couple face masks, make sure they're comfortable. I always like to travel every day with two or three of them because I seem to need one everywhere. Need one in the car, need one in the handbag when everywhere I am. So have a couple face masks ready to go that are comfortable and you can have those with you at all times. As well, think about touch points that you're going to be touching, be it in your car, be it when you're just leaving the house. You want to have antibacterial hand wipes and these are fantastic. Um, AAA just got some new ones in. They're a pack of 20 and you just take them out, wipe everything down and it just keeps everything nice and clean, be it the door handles, be it the seat belt, be it whatever you need a, a hand wipe for, you're good to go there. The steering wheel, all those places that you want to be sure are wiped down. I also like to keep in my car kitchen towels. Yep, I just keep a couple ones there. I think they're more eco-friendly to have than paper towels. Of course, you can wash them out, um, but they're good for quick cleanups, as well, of course, as a small roll of paper towels, always handy to have. And multi-purpose tissues, little packets of Kleenex. You know, these are things we have in our travel bag when we fly, so why not have them in the car? So those are great for TP if you need them at a rest area. And of course, always phone ahead, make sure you know which restaurants, which rest areas are open if you are going out for a car trip. And also to have in your uh, car when you travel, a trash container. What I think is a great idea are the cereal containers. The plastic containers that have a lid on them and you can pop the lid open, you can put your trash in them and then close it. You've already got a trash bag in there. You can dispose of that at the rest area or at the gas station. And then you've got a few extra trash bags inside there that you could just keep filling up and making sure your car stays nice and clean and organized. It's all about staying organized in a car, especially when we're spending time there, and especially if you have travelers in your car as well. Now, us travelers, I know a lot of us have a great tote bag. Chances are you might already have this Bagolini amazing any day tote bag. So. Why not use it in the car? It is perfect for organizing your PPE. So as you can see in this picture, I've organized it with my cereal container as my trash bag in the large center pocket. I also have kitchen towel ready to go. All these great outside organizer pockets are perfect for organizing all your PPE. I have the large Clorox wipes. I have a small travel size wipes for sanitizing down, as I said, the seat belt, the door handles, everything I need to do. Um, also, my extra mask is here tissue, if I need tissues. And what I really like about this Baglini tote is it has a little added removable RFID wristlet. So this is perfect if you just want to use this, if you have to run into the, the gas station or make a quick jump up to the rest area, you can put your smartphone in this. It's RFID. So if you do want to put a credit card or two in there, they will be protected. And it's like a little mini purse. So all in one, it also has a great shoulder strap for when you do use it for traveling. And it has that zip sleeve down the back. So we all love that because when we're going through the airports, we want our tote bag to fit nicely on top of our rolling carry-on bag 
fits nicely, doesn't swing around, and it's just multi-purpose. So while you're thinking about it, go to the closet, pull out a tote. I'm sure you have a tote bag of some sort that you could organize your car with. Now for quick access PPE, I love repurposing a toiletry kit. In this picture, I have an example of the Eagle Creek Quick Trip toiletry kit. And basically it's a dot kit, like the old leather ones, but it's made out of the nice lightweight Cordura. And it has three zippered pockets. What's super nice is the front pocket is a mesh pocket, which is nice in case your mask might be a little moist. You can put it in there, it can air dry while you're using a second mask. Also, you can see I have my spray sanitizer, which is nice to spray down areas. In addition, the hand wipes that I can literally wipe down the different areas. And also in the large center pocket, I can put some disposable gloves. I know in some states you have to pump your own gas. So now I have my gloves that are disposable, so that way I can stay nice and safe. If I do have to pump my own gas, I'm covered there. Also a good idea are car hooks. And the AAA Travel Store has all of these items, including these car hooks, and it comes with two in each package. So you can hook them off the back of your car seat and you can actually hang either a toiletry kit there to hang your PPE items. You could hang a couple extra masks there. It's just a great way to keep things accessible. And also, if you are going up to a rest stop, you can grab the whole little take and go Eagle Creek kit like this with you into the rest area and you're good to go. So think in advance, prepare, and you'll be ready for any situation. So as mentioned, these are some three great items we have in the AAA travel stores in both Oregon and Idaho. And this pack safe mask is all of our favorites. It is fantastic because it's washable, it's reusable, has silver ion in it, which uh, has antimicrobial poly uh, uh, features in it. It's just a very comfortable mask to wear with adjustable ear uh, cover as well as a nose wire so that my glasses don't fog up. So if you're looking for a great mask, check the AAA travel stores. And in addition, we've got the hand sanitizer wipes and the spray to keep everything nice and clean wherever you're headed next. Now, there's also a gift with purchase. If you are headed into the AAA travel stores, they are open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30. There is a gift with purchase, which is perfect timing because this includes if you buy three PPE items in the travel store, that could be a mask, it can be the uh, sanitizers, it could be one of the clean keys, that is a way you can open doors without actually touching them. You get the complimentary clear 311 bag for free. So buy three items, you get the 311 bag that you can use when you go through the airport for your liquids. So it's a great way to organize things when you're in the car or when you're flying. Now we're all traveling with smartphones, be it a daily trip to the grocery store or just on a walk, we're traveling with smartphones. So be sure you have everything you need to keep it powered up. Of course, I like to organize all my smart devices into a packing cube, that way they're always in the same spot. And for traveling with car, be sure, by car, be sure you have a car charger. And what's nice about this one is it actually has three USB ports. So in case you're traveling with a family member or two, you can put this into your car socket and you can recharge three items at the same time, which I think is really saving a lot of valuable time uh, while you're traveling. As well, don't forget your mobile charger, the Z Gear charger that I picture here, I've been traveling with for over two years and one charge allows me to charge up my smartphone two to three times, depending on what level it's at. So get a really good charger that you can travel with uh, for the day, whether you're out for a hike or out out doing shopping, that way you've got your cell phone with you at all times and you know it's charged. It's also great to keep a charger at home ready to go, just in case the power goes out. It is winter, it can happen. So it's nice to have backup power at all times. And I really love the six foot charging cable. So especially if you're in a car and someone in the back seat needs to charge up their phone and the plug socket is in the front seat, this six foot charging cable is brilliant. As well, if you stayed in a hotel, you know sometimes the plug for for your devices is behind the headboard of the bed. So you've got to move everything. It's nice to have a six foot cable so you can charge your items, whether you're domestic or international, coming up for your future travels, you have this all ready, all organized and ready to go. So be sure you keep all of your organized items in a packing cube and you won't forget anything at home. I also, extra tip, I like to put my cell phone number on my cable charger because I always forget that the cord I always forget that in the hotel and it's nice to have that little uh, name and telephone number on there and the hotel will hopefully get it back to you if you forget it. And if you do forget it, ask at the front desk, chances are they have an extra one you can borrow. 
All right, road trips. Road trips, it's all about food. And as mentioned earlier, be sure you check in advance what is open for your road trip. Lots of small restaurants, maybe our favorite restaurants aren't open at this time. Check in advance, have your AAA travel advisor help you plan a road trip with your trip tick. Uh, make sure you know what is and isn't open. Make sure the rest areas are open. You know, you have to think in advance. Another tip is to think about grocery stores, usually have a restroom, um, different places like that, large uh, stores probably do have a restroom. So you've got to think in advance where you uh, can have stops along the way when you're traveling. And what is open, find out in advance and pack a picnic. I think we're all sort of getting back to nature now. Everyone wants to get out and get some fresh air. So take a picnic with you. Um, here, I just had a picture of a picnic in Astoria with the beautiful Columbia River. Uh, it's gorgeous, nobody around, so you can get lots of social distancing from people and you have your food with you. Now, of course, don't forget our pets. No matter what kind of pet you have, be sure you've packed water and snacks. And I love collapsible bowls. AAA travel stores have collapsible bowls. This is perfect because it doesn't take up space in your car. You just pop it up and it's good for water. It's good for food. It even has a little hook there that you can hook it on your backpack if you're hiking. Don't wanna forget your pets. Uh, so collapsible items save space, whether it be in your car or your bag. Now, let's talk about airports. Airports and airplanes. So we want to remind everybody that travel is a personal choice. You need to decide if it's the time for you to travel. Um, by all means, check with everybody in your traveling group. Make sure that everybody's comfort levels are the same. It's your personal choice whether or not to travel. Check the resources in advance. But these are some tips we put together for if the event you are going to the airport. These are things to consider and some good resources to check before you go. Of course, whenever you head to the airport, pack your patience and pack a smile. Always check with the CDC before you leave, cdc.gov, Centers for Disease Control, to find out what the most updated information is, as well as your airplane, your, air, um, your airline. Check their uh, website, check in, make sure everything's good to go, and load up their app on your phone again. These apps are so valuable to have with you when you travel. Now, print out your boarding pass at home. It's all about less touch points. So if you imagine going to the airport, instead of having to go over to the kiosk and actually touch the kiosk, and you wanna wipe it down before you do that, then print out your boarding pass at home and arrive at the airport ready with your boarding pass, with everything you need. And if you're doing carry-on, you can go straight to TSA. So check in advance, but that way you have less touch points along the way. So be sure you arrive with your mask on, extra masks in your tote bag or your backpack, Make sure you've got all your hand sanitizer wipes ready to go. And of course, the airports do have sanitizing stations along the way, but I would always come with yours prepared so you're taking care of yourself. Now, some new updated TSA points are, uh, originally we can still carry through TSA in our carry-on bag, one quart size bag of liquids, every item in this bag, 3.4 ounces or less, and they do not have to be in the original containers. So this is the same as it has been before. The update on this is, in addition, in our, court, in our court size bag, we can have one up to 12 ounce hand sanitizer, liquid hand sanitizer. So this is a good visual. You can still have your one quart size bag. In addition to that, you can have up to 12 ounces of liquid hand sanitizer. Now what's pictured here is eight ounces of hand sanitizer, and that's pretty darn big. So you can even have a 12 ounce one if you need it. If you're traveling with a family, perhaps you would, but that's a lot of hand sanitizer. Now, also for airport security, you have to pull your food out at airport security now. Before it could be kept in your tote bag, now it needs to be in a clear plastic container so security can view your food. They want it in its own area so that it doesn't touch the bin directly. So I love these Bagolini clear trio cubes. I know a lot of us have these. This is perfect to put your food in. You can see it, you can put it in the bin, and you don't have to worry about anyone touching your food. So be sure your foods do not include any liquids. As you can see here, these are just solid foods. And of course, check with your airline and your airport in advance because a lot of airports do not have restaurants that are open. They have small kiosks perhaps where you could buy a sandwich or something to go. But again, bring your food that you think you're gonna need for the day. I have a saying, I never board a plane hungry. 
I always eat a good breakfast before I go. I eat before I get on the plane. I bring food with me. And that way I don't have to worry about not being able to find food. Now, another new TSA regulation is to decrease possible cross contamination. They don't want anything in the bins by themselves. So instead of throwing your change in the bin by itself, it needs to be contained in something. So take some extra Ziploc bags with you or put your change and your keys into your handbag, into a zippered pocket, but don't put things in the bin alone. They need to be contained into something. And remember, any electronics larger than your smartphone do need to be put in the bin. They need to be pulled out. So smartphones and things can be kept in your handbag, but anything larger needs to go into the bin. Now, airport, airplane comforts, I've been talking about this for years. I love to take my own comfort items with me on the airplane so that I know they're nice and clean and I know they're comfortable for me. So here I've got a good example of my comfort kit that I packed into a medium-sized Bagolini compression cube. So I've compressed all the air down and it's only about an inch and a half to two inches thick. But included in my comfort kit are my comfort items, my inflatable neck pillow, my inflatable lumbar pillow. I have my eye shades, I have my earplugs. I have my travel blanket that also doubles as a travel towel if I want to hit the beach when I get to my desk destination, but it's everything that's clean and organized and ready for my comfort on the airplane. In addition, most importantly, are extra PPE items. So in addition to those extra masks I have in the outside pockets of my tote, I also have an extra mask here in my comfort kit, again with sanitizer wipes. First thing I do when I would get on a plane would be to wipe down the tray table area with a sanitizer wipe, wipe down the seat belt, wipe down the armrests, of course, the air vent overhead, you wanna wipe that down. So any touch points you want to wipe down with your uh, sanitizer wipes. That's why I like wipes and spray. Wipes are great because you can literally wipe it down. Now, be sure you have an extra little plastic Ziploc bag to put your extra trash, like your wipes that are extra trash. You don't want those floating around. And another tip, I always take extra hand lotion because we're wiping our hands so much and washing our hands so much that your hands can get really dried out. So. I want to keep saying, keep washing your hands, especially after you go through security, anytime you can. Wash your hands with lots of soap, hot water, and then sanitizer wipes. Now, of course, we've been traveling with water bottles for years now. You can fill up a water bottle as long as it's empty going through airport security. You can fill it up for free in most airports for free filtered water stations are at most airports. I love this new Eco water bottle because it's so collapsible. It really packs down to nothing when it's empty, but when you do need it, it is a really nice large size water bottle. And since airplanes now require us to have the masks on at this moment during the whole flight, except for when you have that moment to have a snack, I do like just uh, eco-friendly straws. And this is great because you can drink your water underneath your mask with your straw without having to take your mask on and off. So it's just something to think about for your next flight. What can make it easier for you? What can help keep you safer and keep you hydrated as well? And here's another new tip I, I like to think about is small serving snacks. Instead of trying to eat an entire sandwich on an airplane, as you can imagine, with a mask and everything else you're trying to keep on and off, single serving snacks. So if you are hungry on a plane, small size items that you don't have to worry about packaging back up and then getting back in another container. These are some of my favorites. I've always loved shortbread. Why not pretend we're in Scotland and have some great shortbread or bring some from home if you have someone who'll make some for you, like my sister did for Christmas. Uh, as well, I love mints. I love taking little junior mints because they were nice to just freshen up at the end of a flight, have a little mint, and of course, lots of protein. So here in my clear cube is my protein bars, also some nuts, some cashews, almonds, but as you can see, small servings. So easy to eat, easy to, to just throw away the trash when I'm finished and I'm good to go. I also love everything clear as you can see because I can see everything. So clear is much better than a cube that, that is all dark, all red or all blue. I can see through the clearness. Now luggage, if you are thinking of luggage, I would recommend highly hard-sided luggage. It's much easier to wipe down the touch points uh, as you can imagine. And here we're showing three different sizes. The carry-on size for most airlines is 21 inch, and then a 25 inch spinner, which you could check through because it's too big to carry on. And then the largest size that you can travel on an airplane is 29 inch spinner. So spinners much easier to get through the airports. 
And of course, if you're concerned about touch points and everybody is for less contact with people these days traveling, take a carry-on bag and keep it with you. And then you can put it in the overhead compartment, you can keep wiping it down and you're really in control of your bag. If you're checking through a bag, be sure that when you pick it up in the baggage terminal, again, before anything goes further, wipe it all down. And that way, you know, you've had that one more step to staying safe. So traveling credit cards, we've always recommended, always travel with at least two separate credit cards. This is for a plethora of reasons, but most importantly, in case one credit card is lost or stolen or canceled for whatever reason, you have a second credit card that you can continue to travel with and use without worry. Now, the AAA, of course, Visa Rewards Card is a no-brainer for everybody. It is an excellent travel credit card designed for travelers. Uh, number one is because there's no annual fee, so it doesn't cost you to have the AAA Member Rewards Card. And number two, there's zero foreign transaction fee. So say you are leaving the US, there's zero foreign transaction fee. So be sure you check with your credit cards on those most important points. But nowadays, really important is a really touch, touchless credit card. And if we can go back to that screen, I just want to mention this. This is so important. You want a credit card that you can just tap and pay. And that is nice because by tap and pay, you don't have to hand your credit card to somebody and then they would run it and then they hand it back to you. Tap and pay means you're always in charge of your own credit card. So again, less touch points. You don't have to hand it to somebody. Chances are you won't forget it somewhere because you always have a hold of it. And because it's touchless, it's very easy because it has a symbol on the back that will show you that it's touchless. Now, if you have the AAA credit card already and you're not sure if it's touchless, call the 800 number on the back and they will send you a brand new one if you don't have the brand new touchless credit card. So for all those reasons, it's so important to travel with a great travel credit card, such as a AAA card. And if you don't have a touchless credit card, here's a tip. Be sure if you do hand it to someone, which you'll have to, you wipe it down with your hand wipes when they hand it back to you. Just always staying safe. All right, so now we're moving into hotel tips. So if you're planning a trip, most importantly is you want to call ahead and check in and find out about what they're doing for safety protocols. So this is a really good example of staying safe, staying safe. And well, you want to ask what protocols the hotels are going to be doing for you when you arrive. Now, if you're uncertain, of course, have a AAA professional help you and book your hotels for you, but you want to ask important questions. Are masks required in all public areas? For most hotels, that is the situation, but you want to confirm before you get there. Also ask about contactless check-in. And a lot of hotels have been doing this for years. You literally check in on your smartphone. You literally go up to your hotel room. You can bypass the front desk and check right into your hotel room with your smartphone. So a lot of these things make it easier to travel. It skips a lot of lines. You can even pick your hotel room out before you get to your hotel. So make sure you check in advance with your hotel. And I like to stay with a chain. That way you know that you're on their frequent stay list. You can, of course, earn rewards. But all important things to think about before you book your next hotel. And also ask about their cancellation policies. Everyone is looking to keep their hotels busy these days. So when you do book, ask them, what is their flexibility and cancellation fees? Because a lot of them are being very lenient, but you want to confirm that before you go. Travel plans change and we want to make sure we're taken care of. And again, AAA has been booking hotels and taking care of people for years. So check with AAA, they, have, they can find the perfect hotel for you for your next trip. Another thing about hotel protocols to think about when you're traveling is, uh, how are they cleaning the rooms? Ask them. You can find out a lot with one phone call. Say, what sort of cleaning do you use? Ionization or electrostatic sprayers? There's all these different options and you can tell by how they're replying, how your confidence would be in staying in that certain hotel. Even some hotels, believe it or not, have robots that are delivering extra towels and shampoos to your hotel room. So check before you go. Now, like the airports, many hotels have sanitation stations in the lobbies lots of hand sanitizer, but again, I still like to bring my own. And when I arrive in my hotel room, I absolutely would use my hand wipes to wipe down all the touch point services. I would wipe down, of course, the any drawers, any light switches, anything like that, wipe those down. And of course, that TV remote, which we know for years, hmm, is it really clean? I've been using the free shower cap to put on top of the hotel remote so I don't have to touch the remote. Uh, bring an extra plastic bag. That way you can put the remote in there 
course, you could wipe it down as well, but just things to keep thinking about when you travel. And of course, wipe down, or you could use the, um, the shower cap, as I mentioned. And of course, if you haven't wiped down your luggage yet, or if somebody helped you with your luggage to your hotel room, wipe down your luggage again before you would uh, unpack that so that everything stays nice and clean. Now, food, you also want to ask the hotel in advance, will the restaurant be open? If you stayed at a hotel before and it had a microwave, don't assume it will still have a microwave. Does it have a microwave? Does it have a refrigerator? Does it have all those amenities that it had before? Things have changed. Things will continue to change. So these are things just to think about before you travel again. Now, reduced exposure, of course, to public spaces. Most hotels do not have public food and buffets. Some do have little grab and go breakfast bags. You know, all of this depends on where you're staying, what budget you have for your hotels. For years, I've been carrying my own coffee cup. Makes me happy. I know it's clean. It reminds me of home. Uh, throw in a small coffee cup when you're traveling. That way, you know it's clean. You don't have to worry about washing out the hotel's coffee cup if they have one in the room. And I've been traveling with my own collapsible water cup. So if you do need to take some medications or some vitamins, collapsible water cup takes up minimal space in your luggage. And as well, you know it's nice and clean. So these small things you can do along the way will definitely make your stay and your trip a little bit easier and smoother. And of course, take your own coffee and tea if you like that in the evening and some snacks. Last thing you wanna do is get hungry when you finally arrive at your hotel and then not have anywhere to have some food. So take some fun snacks with you. Things like instant oatmeal, things like little, little uh, containers of peanut butter, and crackers, you know, just little snacks that you could eat along the way. Hot soup, little dried soup that you can put some hot water into, um, granola bars, things like that to travel with are always a good idea. You know, we're always happiest when we're eating, let's be honest. And it's a good thing to have food with you when you travel. Don't forget your Starbucks coffee, that instant coffee, and of course, imported chocolate. Makes you feel happy. Makes me feel happy. Hmm? All right. So keep in mind uh, travel utensils. I forgot to mention also a knife, a fork, a spoon. I love this. The travel store has all these great little travel items that you would use in your picnic basket at home. Take it with you and that way you're good to go when you're in the hotel room. In case you get food to go, you've got a knife, a fork, and a spoon that all little stays together in a little container is a great idea. All right. So here we are. I hope these tips brought you some good ideas for any future travels you're thinking about. You know, travel Planning is part of the fun for me. I mean, it's probably 50% of the trip. I love planning trips. And I know I've had uh, almost about a year now to keep planning future trips, and I'm sure you have as well. So, so if you have ideas of what you're thinking and you want to do, call your AAA travel advisor. They would love to help you plan out your next trip, your next couple trips, just to get things going and to get you some brochures and some ideas on what would be a good idea. People are planning future trips now. Now's the time to plan. And here's the great contact information for your AAA travel advisor. Right here, the phone number, email, and the website, AAA.com, will absolutely get you directly to a AAA travel professional to help you. Also, they will list all of our AAA travel store locations in both Oregon and Idaho. So no matter what you need, here's the information that you can uh, reach, that you can reach AAA through. As mentioned, the service centers are open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30. But they recommend you do call ahead, make an appointment if you would like to meet with someone about travel or insurance or whatever you have a question about, uh, that way you've got an appointment and you're good to go there. And also with this email, you have received a coupon to the AAA travel stores in Oregon and Idaho. And that is a 15% off coupon available uh, for your AAA Oregon Idaho travel store. So if there's something you need for your next trip, by all means, stop on in. That's 15% off the already reduced member prices. So it's the perfect time to get in and pick that uh, item up that you need for your next, maybe it's your next road trip, maybe you need a tote bag, whatever it might be, a new suitcase, uh, come on into AAA and they are there to help you by all means. All right, I think we're ready for some questions. Um, there's a little box in the bottom. You can just send in your questions. I think, are we there? There we are. There we are. So also, if you do have questions and we don't fit them in at this moment, you can always email them to the AAA store at AAAOregon.com. I'm available at that email if you have any questions whatsoever. And of course, AAA.com for any questions you have on travel or anything else you might need. So Nathan, yes. how are you? I'm good. Thank you for all that great information, Anne. And I, I wanted to share with you that there's lots and lots of thank yous coming through right now. So thank you to everybody who's 
who's joined us and for, for tuning in for all of Anne's great tips. So um, there was also quite a few people that had written in saying that they've traveled a bit by plane recently and they most of them were pleasantly surprised with how the airports um, and the airlines were handling the, the new restrictions in place. And so um, very happy to hear that you're, you're still out and about and traveling, that's, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, there was somebody that <laughs> wrote in and I wasn't sure the answer to this, Anne, and I hope that you do. Um, they had asked, are sanitizer wipes considered a liquid by the TSA? Uh, to my knowledge, they are not because there isn't really liquid. They're, um, they're sort of like uh, moisturizers to take off makeup with. Right. And I've never had a problem with them. I travel with a lot of makeup in my carry-on and I take my makeup I remover pads and I've never had a problem with that. So uh, we could check at tsa.gov. It would have them listed if they are liquid, but to my knowledge, as long as it's in a, a no liquid, you know, squeezable, I think we're okay. Sure. All right. Good question. Um, and you were talking about foods that you pack to take onto the plane. There was a member that wrote in saying that they had some yogurt and that was not allowed because it was considered a liquid or a gel. Um, their advice would be sure food items are not a fluid in any way, which is a great tip. Thank you for writing really? that in. Thank you for mentioning that. I always forget to mention yogurt. So absolutely, anything that's squeezable, oozable, or liquid. And that's toothpaste, that's anything oozable, anything has to fit in that quart size bag. So brilliant okay. idea. Um, and then there was another one about COVID tests while traveling. And I'm gonna try to take a stab at it. And if if I miss, you can, you can follow up on this, Anne. But the question was, if a country suddenly demands a COVID test while you're overseas, i.e. returning to the U.S. while overseas, what is the best way to find a test provider? And my answer to that is because things can change so quickly and it can vary by destination, it's hard to give an exact answer to that question. Um, but what I can tell you is that your AAA travel professional that you're working with is updated on this sort of information every day. So should you run into this sort of situation while you're on a trip, they will be able to provide you the options to get this done if needed. And many of our preferred travel partners that we're working with right now are already providing that information and it's available to our travel professionals. So be sure to discuss these things with your travel professional before departure. Brilliant, that's exactly why you wanna book with a travel advisor because if there's anyone who can help you, it would be your AAA travel advisor, yes. More thank yous rolling in. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. And I'm wondering, is anyone saying what, what their future travel plans are when 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 we're able and and Ooh, anyone dreaming of any trips that they're? Let's see. I know a lot of people are booking for future trips. The out 20 mm -hmm. a year from now, and uh, there's a lot of a lot of plans going on. So I encourage everybody really start thinking and planning in advance and. Um, as time comes closer, we'll be ready. That's the good news. Ooh. And also coming up, I did want to mention um, also coming up every month, I'll be offering some more of these great uh, connections with travelers. We have one coming up in March and April and February of all sorts of things from how to pack for a solo trip to how to pack your carry on, all sorts of tips. Love that. Um, we had somebody wrote in, they are planning a Viking Ocean cruise in September. That's very exciting um somebody else is traveling to going to florida in a week that's very soon hope you have safe travels mm -hmm. um what is your assessment of cruise safety in the future um, well, the, the cdc is really taking care of that aren't they to, to my understanding they're putting together i'll let, I'll yeah. let you take that mm -hmm. so and it's again going to vary by cruise line because we sell both ocean and, and river cruise. Um, the ocean cruises are a little bit bigger in occupancy, meaning the number of people that can travel on the ship. So they have more um, regulations in place. Um, as of right now, it appears that most of the cruises are canceled up until about April or May. Um, but all of them, like Ann said, are working with the CDC right now, and they're very um, they're very in line with what the CDC is guiding. Um, they're still working on on protocols as they roll it out, and I think it all just kind of depends on um, the vaccination is also coming into play now, and so each one of the cruise lines has their own rules and regulations as to um, what protocols they're having in place. 
Um, so talk to your AAA travel professional about it. Like I said, it does vary by cruise line, but um, please know that you will be safe once they return to cruising again. They, they will have protocols on board to make sure that you and your travel companions are safe when on board. Absolutely, agree with all of that. Um, somebody was saying all of their 2020 and 21 trips are rescheduled for 2022 at this point. And that's great. Mm -hmm. Happy to hear that. Let's see. Somebody else is working with Emily. I'm assuming that's in our Beaverton office. Um, staying domestic in 2021, they said, and hoping for international in 2022. It's fantastic. fantastic. There we go. Um, oh, Dee Dee is joining you on your Christmas markets cruise in December. She oh. says, looking forward to seeing you there. Hi, Dee Dee. Oh, we have so much fun. And I just want to mention for anybody out there who is thinking of traveling and you don't have someone to travel with, you know, go, book a trip with a provider through AAA and you'll meet people on your trip. And I will say, uh, Didi, we met how many years ago? Eight, ten years ago on a trip, and we've been traveling together. We have a group of travel solo travelers that you're solo when you join, but you're not solo once you're there. So, you know, <laughs> check if you have any questions and look for that solo wage supplement because there's there's some great offers out there. So, and by working with the travel advisors, they'll let you know what's happening on a day-to-day -day situation. So they'll take great care of you. Um, more travel plans out there, planning on going to Paris, Scotland, and Ireland, and Spain. Paris is first on their list. That's quite, that's quite a bucket list trip. That's awesome. Um, planning on going to London in mid-June. It does, it says, um, seems things are very fluid right now, and it, I agree with you. It'll probably be stay that way for a bit still, but hopefully hopefully things work out by that that point and you can enjoy your trip to london mm -hmm. <laughs> that's all i got in well nathan i would like to say thank you for handling all the technical side of this <laughs> you're so welcome <laughs> you're very good at this any uh any closing before we wrap up today i would just like to say thank you all for for joining us today, for being optimistic and looking forward to future travels with everybody, you know, looking forward to future events in person. Uh, until we get there, we will see you here on our fantastic Zooms. We're always just a phone call away. If you need anything at all, call AAA, call us, we are here for you. Absolutely, and I will echo that. For any travel planning needs, definitely reach out to us at um, I know that Ann showed slides for our email address and our phone number or even our service centers. Definitely stop in and, and schedule some time with one of our great AAA travel professionals and we'll get you planning on your next journey. Fantastic. You. And will they receive a link to this uh, recording when they finish? They, they will. So everyone that attended today will receive a link to the recording and then also a quick survey. If you can fill that out for us, please, we would really appreciate it. Great. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope that you have an excellent evening and thank you again for joining. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.